Today we're gonna to look at masking text and adding fonts in Adobe Spark, so stick around. What's going on everybody? Claudio here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be walking you through an updated version on how to add fonts as well as mask text in Adobe Spark. I did a video of this a while back, but a lot has changed and I thought it would be a great idea to walk you through. So let's go ahead and take a look. To create this mask text effect, I'm going to click on the blue plus sign here at spark.adobe.com and then choose custom size graphic. Here, I'm going to go with the social post size, choose Instagram portrait, and then click on next. It doesn't matter what size, it's just a preference of mine. Here, what I will do now is click on photos, upload a photo of myself. I'm going to create a digital card of myself and then click on upload. With my photo now in there, let me go ahead and close this out. And then we will resize this to make it fit here. I can choose to add to the background, which will lock it up into the background, but I wanna be able to adjust it myself. What I want to do is create a space to the right of my face there, this right here, which will serve as the area for the masking of text. So now let's go ahead and add some text. We'll choose add text, and I'm going to go ahead and put my name and then create a title here. I just have a hard time spelling here. So now I've got my title consultant. I think I need a T there. Next, what I'll do is resize this. And now let me add a shape to that. So I'm going to turn on this slider to add a shape behind the text. And let's go and choose a different shape. We'll go with the rectangle or square. That looks just about right. And if I want to add more space around the text, I can do that. And then here is the mask text option. I'll go ahead and turn that on. So now you can see through the text there. Basically, that's what you do. Just slide this on and off to mask the text. Now, I'm not really thrilled about that yellow. So I'm going to turn that. Let's go with white and see what it looks like. Not bad. Let's try black. Okay, that looks a little better. I did mention earlier about adding different fonts here. Let's say I do not want this font and I'll look through my library of fonts and I don't find one that I like. I'll scroll through here and choose different ones. Just not looking the way I want it to. Well, if you scroll all the way down here and choose browse Adobe fonts, you can click that and you'll have the option, take me to Adobe fonts, where you can activate fonts and bring them into your Spark library. Really cool way to expand the fonts that you can use in Adobe Spark. And here are different tags that you can choose from. So if you're looking for a specific style of font, here's what you do is just click on, for example, comic, and it will give you different fonts that have that comic, I would say attribute or characteristic Maybe let's go with this right here, Zubilo. So if I click on view family, just to let me see the entire set of fonts, that's pretty cool there. And basically what I'll do is activate the fonts right here. You are activating or you've activated four fonts from Zubilo. And what I'll do is click on the back button to take me back to the main window. And I can go through here and choose different ones. Well, now that I've got the font that I want, I'm going to go back to Adobe Spark. And then here at the bottom, you'll see that Zubilo has been added. Now, sometimes what will happen, it'll shift through the list. So you may have to look through just in case. So let's go ahead and go with Zubilo. I think I'm saying that right. There we go. That one looks neat. And that's a quick update on masking text in Adobe Spark as well as add additional fonts from Adobe Fonts. Now there is a caveat, you do need to have the premium version of Adobe Spark to access those extra Adobe Fonts. 
If you don't have it, I have a link in the description below where you can subscribe. If you have any comments about masking text or Adobe fonts, please let me know by adding it in the description below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell to be notified for future videos, and please do share this video with others so that YouTube can share it with a larger audience. Thank you again for watching this video, and as always, be good to one another.